Okay, so you just saw it. I shine the light at the CD and I use the interference pattern. I'm about to use the interference pattern to determine the distance between the data tracks on the CD, which according to the internet is about 1.6 times 10 to the negative 6 meters. Try it with a DVD. The DVD stores more data because the data tracks are closer together. However, let me give you a warning. You cannot shine a red laser at a DVD. It won't diffract. If the slit separation is smaller than the wavelength of the light, no diffraction will take place at all. So you want to try it with this DVD, you have my I, you have my blessing, but you better be using a purple laser to do it, or maybe green, but I think it will only work with purple. Okay, so you just saw me. I could only see one, I could only see one order of interference. Here was the distance uh, between the central maximum and the one order of interference I could see. That was the distance between the CD and the screen. X is more than one-fifth of L. Did you notice that the X is way more than 20% L? I cannot use X over L in place of sine theta. That would introduce too much error. So I have to use D sine theta equals M lambda. Okay, how am I going to get the sine theta then? Well, tan theta is X over L. That's exactly true. That's not an approximation. That's the case. I plug in my X. I plug in my L. I take the inverse tangent. I'm going to get 24 degrees. Plug in your 24 degrees. Plug in the M equals 1. Plug in the uh, lambda of red light because that's why I chose. And then when I get away, I actually, you, you check me on this. You check me. You saw me do this. And sure enough, I got 1.6 microns, like exactly. I've never been this close to anything in my life except for the speed of sound in another lab that I do for P1, so you're not going to see it in this uh, um, set of videos here. Last one is the width of a human hair. All right, so what do you do? You stretch out a human hair vertically and you shoot a laser at it. So uh, attach a human hair to something that's going to make the human hair taut. Shine the laser on the human hair. And behind the laser, you will see an interference pattern of bright dark zones. And the distance between the bright zones is X. And the width of the human hair is going to be the D. The D is the size of whatever's causing the diffraction. Let's have a look at what that might look like.